2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 5, and it reads, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. First and foremost, only give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, <clears throat> Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Going to the little, a little bit of this article, I was watching um, Elder Apostle Gabar's video. It's called, Could This Be the Big One? Another pandemic one is coming. Another pandemic one is coming. You see, it's all being orchestrated by the God of the Bible, though, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus, right? <clears throat> so, like, yeah, should there be evil in the city? See, so we've been telling you, Israelites, matter of fact, let's get something. I'm going to come right back to that article. I want to I get, I must be allowed to get this, though. Starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone and the men on that, we've been telling you for the longest. We've been telling you for the longest, according to the Bible, what's going to happen before it even happens. Let's, let's just get this. Isaiah 42. That's why the scripture says, watch as well as pray that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. Look, 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 look. We're friends. Stuff we used to say, this is the big one. This could be the big one. I'm coming to join you, honey. Now, this could be the big one, right? Isaiah 42 or 9, behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Meaning what the men of the Lord, they, they prophesy. They ain't shuckling, jiving, giggling, and all this. Husband loves their wives and all that. He had to tell a man how to love his wife. You know what I'm saying? He read the scriptures and learn that. Tell our people what's really coming. For when they shall, going right back to um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. Now, while you was out celebrating and shopping on Black Friday and you was cutting the glazed ham and all that. Look at what Sleazy E was do, doing. Look at what the Lord was doing, first and foremost, while you, while you was dead to the world and dead to the fact of what the hell is going on. Look, look at what's going on on the earth. I said, well, remember, Israel, watch as well as pray. Well, look, we're not in Kansas anymore. We're not living in peaceful time. It's, look, this is the new normal, right? Let's go here. This, this Israel, this right here, this is the new normal. Who? HWO calls on China to reinstate masks. And it is coming here. It's coming here. I just read Isaiah 42 and 9. Keep thinking everything is a joke. Keep, keep trying to build your community ties. Keep, keep getting, keep keeping on what you get. Rich schemes, $150 million man. And all you keep keep wearing your fringes all around the city, even in the damn pizza shop, all in the barber shop. Social media Israelites, while things like this is going down, you you Israelites better get your acts together. Sh shit hitting the fan. This devil know that he only got a short time to rule, so he's coming in with a rap. Hey, look, you gonna put them damn pebbles back on your face soon? Come, yeah, yeah, all the above. Who calls on China to reinstate mass social distancing amid outbreak of new, you see it, respiratory illness? An another play going right back to what I just read. Let's just get it again. Let's just get it again. The second address of the 15, you thought everything was a joke. Second address of the 15, and, and remember, these words are faithful to the truth. The Lord said these things were going to be happening. And look, and before they spring forth, he got men on the highways and byways telling you that it's going to happen, right? Before it even happened. N no excuses. No excuses. Second address of the 15. But, but this time, you know what I'm saying, that man could usher in that C hip, that digital device, in order to go into those grocery stores, in order to go back to work, you see? In order to get back on the, um, the city transit, the train, the plane, 
to, to go um, from this country to that country, all right? Because the martial law going to eventually break loose. But look, but you ain't got to take our word for it. Second Edward said, just keep on living your, your non-important life. Keep keep walking around thinking that you're important, that you're somebody. And look, and we'll see in a, in, a, in a few, in a hot second, we're going to see, all right? Then you're going to know that a prophet had been among you, right? Second Edward chapter 15, verse 5, behold, said the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and GC, all them damn debates and you see all that damn marching up and down the street, you know what I'm saying, going to different rallies and all this. That, that, that ain't going to help you in this, in this time to come. That ain't going to help you. You see, who's the baddest, who got the, the most blickies and all that? That ain't going to mean a damn thing. When, it, when this thing right here pop off, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The, across the four corners of the earth, all you see is plagues. The sword, which represents destruction, famine, a lack of food, death. That's all you see. It's, it's going to turn up. And destruction. But you keep playing them little stupid games. <clears throat> keep doing your brew walks. <clears throat> keep calling them false gods. Keep keep being rebellious. Keep coming on the comment boards. You know what I'm saying? With your stupid comments. You see? Keep keep mocking and scoffing while, while this is, is going down. Right? You, you, see, you see what's going on. You see what's going on in that picture. You see? Do, do, I, do I need to blow it up? You, you see what that dude is doing. When when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people you see you see what them people look like in that screen. You see it, but you think everything's a damn joke, though, right? You see it though. Let's, let's read in on on the article just a little bit. People in China should wear masks, social distance, and once again, that's coming over here. Look, look and stay home. And look, look, and stay your black ass home. Sit down. You see, sit down. Going right back to 2020. Sit, sit down. All right. But, but, but we're the bugged out ones, right? You Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to wish you would have took heed to this blessed word. You, you're going to wish you would have took heed because the only thing that's going to keep you stable, and we're going to be all over the place with this. We're going to bring up some scriptures. The only thing that's going to keep you stable is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? Let's, let's go here. Let's just go here. Matter of fact, before we even get that, let's get this right quick since I'm already here. Let's just get this. And, and remember, you can't make nobody believe. These, these, this, this word is, is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Only the elect is going to take heed. Only the elect is going to repent and turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful for all their wrongful thoughts, sins, and doings in this life and their former lives. And they're going to get right with the God of the Bible before shit really hit the fan. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, man. What did the scripture say? Um, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy... We're going to get that too. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. We, we, we got to constantly... That's why the Lord said, look, you watchman, right? You're a watchman, right? A watchman reports what he sees, right? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. And all you um, men just coming on the comment boards, you know what I'm saying, for years, you know what I'm saying, and you ain't doing nothing with all this knowledge, wisdom, understanding that you got, ain't hit the highways and byways, ain't doing no videos. Look, you going to wish you did too. You warn the people, man. The Lord said you see the sword coming. Warn the people, damn it. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, this know also that in the last days, and we're, we're living in the last days of the last days of an age. We're, we're coming to the end of an age. We're starting to reach that climax. You see? And anytime you watch a movie, you already know what happens during the climax. You see? This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. We must be allowed to get the definitions. Let's just get the definition. Perilous times. Can, can we play it? Perilous. Perilous. Full of danger or risk. Risky, hazardous, treacherous, unsafe, dangerous, uh, uncertain, critical, crucial, desperate, at risk, problematic, hairy, hairy. You see, those are the times that we're living in. But you ain't got to take our word for it, right? You do not have to take our word for it. I, I, I want to go back. Let's go here one more time. Second Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Not love, not hug, not kisses, not juju beans, not snicker bars, the movies, none of that. Husband loves your wife. Come on, man. The scriptures tell us those that, that have wives be as though you didn't have none. You see? 
I, I, I want to get this because I quoted. And we're going to get a little bit of more of that article. And then, we, then we're going to wrap it up. The scriptures say, when the watchman see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. What are we doing? Starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone and the men on down. We're warning the people. We're sounding the alarm. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. When you're at your full potential, while the Lord can still use you. All right? You're going to wait till you get hooked up to IVs and all that, coughing and all that, coughing up phlegm and all that, you know what I'm saying, mucus and all that. And Lord, use me now, Lord. Use me. Use me, Lord. Too late now, man. All right? Men, men, we got to roll, you know what I'm saying? And you women, you got to roll. You got to seek the Lord, too. <clears throat> you got to do what is right and honest, too. You see, men, men, job is to teach, you know what I'm saying? Women's job is to serve. Do, do what you got to do. You know what you got to do. Remember now that created in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. Look, look, what, what's they're here already. Look, look, the, the evil days are here. I mean, the bad times are here. You, you see the article and many other articles, man. All kind of shit. Volcanoes erupting, you know what I'm saying? Earthquakes, storms, floods, everything that we read in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. But look, look, but you ain't got to believe the Bible. You see, Ble believe, believe the um, pastor the church. You see, they don't read the Bible, right? Believe the Christians. You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep continuing to believe in that plantation Christianity, which, which ain't teaching you nothing. Only thing they do is just sing and dance and, and rap all damn day. They, they, the new gospel is rap. You know what I'm saying? Who who calls on China to reinstate masks, social distancing, social distancing amid outbreak of new of new illness? You see? It's through. Through. Let's go, let's go back here. China, people in China, and then this gonna come over here because remember in 2020 it started over over there, but then eventually came over here, right? This devil about to lock everything down again. But look, you keep playing around, though, right? People in China should wear masks, social distance, and stay home. Stay your ass home if if unwell amid an outbreak of a mystery illness. Global health chief have warned, and you can keep reading on, reading on, reading on to the article. You you see what's going on? They're going to make your ass go back in the house, and you, and you can you can look, look, what what it say? Similar patterns has been seen worldwide as measures as measures brought in to reduce the spread of the of the of the of the nineteen, such as face masks, social distancing, and lockdowns. Did, did you hear that, Israel? And look look and lockdowns. In lockdowns, they get they get ready and lock your ass back down. You and you and you know that. And I can't read too much into the articles on because I want the video to stay up. So I'm gonna be mainly bringing out scriptures. The, the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures gonna speak louder than anything anyway. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Now keep thinking everything's a joke, Israel. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days, meaning the bad days, come not to here already, nor the years draw. Now you can't see time is speeding up here. We're at the end of um, what is it? November. We're at the end of November already. You see? Lord speeding up time. Look, um, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And that's exactly what the majority of you Israelites are gonna hear. You play you you played around. If there's a such thing called too late, all right? There's a such thing for you, Negro, you smart ass, smart mouth, rebellious, can't tell you nothing, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, your, your day is coming, too late, it's coming for your ass, too late, too late, it's, it's gonna be too late to apologize, just like in the days of Noah, just like in the time of Lot, you took too damn long, alright, you, you was feeling yourself, you see? Damn ashes and dirt, you know what I'm saying? Still walking around proud as hell. The Lord said the pride go before destruction and the heart of spirit before fall. And, he's, and this devil gonna make it matter. This could be the catalyst, you know what I'm saying, for this devil to uh, the usher in that see him. St. Matthew chapter 24. Let's get this. St. Matthew chapter 24. We'll, we'll, we'll read at the top a little bit. St. Matthew 24. And six, and it reads, and you shall hear wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Are, are we not seeing wars? Are we, are we not hearing talks of wars? Everything coming to pass right now. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. All right? There should be famine and pestilences. You, you, you see that? The Bible is screaming. The, 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 it, it ain't uh, jumping off the page no more. It's a leaping off the page, all right? These words are leaping off the page, right? 
You say, it say, but, but oh yeah, the Bible is a white man's book, right? You see, uh, uh, okay, all you family members, I'm saying, they looked at us all, bugged the hell out, and the phone's gonna be ringing like I don't know what. People, a ring a ling a ling a ling, ring my bell, ring my bell. Phone calls knocking at the door, they're gonna be coming to your job, they're gonna find out where you're working, cause people want answers. Going right back to St. Matthew, I'm um, not going right back to Isaiah, I think it's the 24th chapter, verse 10 and 11. There should be a crying for wine in the streets. People go on answers, man. But we're giving you the answers now of why all these things are happening. You see? What it say? For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So, so once again, going back to this article. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. So so keep keep um living in your little bubble like ain't nothing going on. Look, look you you'll see. Let's jump on down. Let's jump on down. I'll say Matthew 24 and 21. For this shall be great tribulation. Yo, you're not hearing these scriptures, of Israel. Fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You see. Look, look, now, man, now, for this shall be great tribulation. People going to be catching a pure hell, man. Hell, hell on earth, not on the ground. Hell on earth, which is a condition played out on earth, man. Lord going to be giving you people the business, man. The little, little says so, so it's going to be another lockdown. We Look, we just read that article. They called it for another lockdown, Israel. You see? And what's going on? Cross seas. Don't think it ain't going to come over here on the other side of the pond, right? It says, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. But you ain't listening to that right there. The Lord said, the time is coming. It ain't the tribulation that I got coming. Because remember, uh, Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh shot by where the angels are controlling everything. The Lord said, the tribulation that I got coming upon the face of the earth has, has never been seen before, has never been recorded. Take all the different time periods, put them all together of all the anarchy, all of all the chaos, the violence, the war. The mayhem, starvation, plagues, pestilences, diseases, so forth and so on. Put them all together and they can't compare. Up until this point, and they can't compare. It's been a whole lot of horrific things happening, man. Earthquakes, storms, floods, volcanoes. You see, screaming and hollering, graping. You name it, man. You know Dismembering of people. The Lord said, put that all there, put it all together, put it all in a cup, put it all in a bowl, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't going to be able to compare to what I got coming, and, but ain't nobody scared, all right? You, you got it, all right? Okay, and except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. And that's red letter right there. Lord, how should I speak it? Who you ignorant called Jesus, but ain't nobody listen. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You see? So we see some, we say some. The Lord said, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. So look, so look, we, we, we're giving you warning, Israel, o -o over and over. E every day, man. Shit, the Lord knows they had no warning you for 120 years and you didn't listen. And we know the majority of our people are not going to listen. We, we already know that, man. We, are, we already know the majority of our people are not going to listen. That's why they're going to get caught up in that wrath. That, that's all. That, that's all. Once again, this word is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. And the Lord going to judge you false prophets and all that too, man. Proverbs 29. And, 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 and his wicked um, congregation, his wicked ass followers too. Men and women. You see, Proverbs, there's no respect of person. All right. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. People are mourning right about now. You see. The little put them down mad. You heard what that dude said. You heard what the who said. Who who said you gonna put them masks back on and look look and you gonna stay look look six feet six feet. You you know that six feet. And look, give me my give me my six feet. All right. And, and, and soon come this devil gonna make it mandatory that you take that seat here. Let's, let's get this because because I'm gonna roll out. I, I ain't I ain't really wanna make this too long. This could be the catalyst though. Uh, let's get this um, St. Luke 21. This could be the catalyst. Keep, look, Israel, keep your eyes on the prize. St. Luke chapter 21. Hey, and remember, the knowledge, wisdom. I know, I know, a matter of fact, before I even get that, matter of fact, I'll get that next. St. Luke 21. I just want to hit a point. St. Luke chapter 21. 
And the only thing you was worried about was Black Friday. There ain't nothing wrong with getting a little TV or whatever. I mean, if you want to get something on Black Friday just to cut the cost or whatever, which if brothers, you know what I'm saying, um, put up videos all on the internet to where they showed you the price of the Black Friday price, you know what I'm saying? And they took one woman, you know what I'm saying, did a video. She was at Walmart one, or Target, one of them stores. She went up to the damn thing where you see the price of the TVs. She snatched that off, and behind it was the same damn price, regular price. So so that Black Friday is on BS. You, you're paying the same regular price for that TV that you would on, on a regular damn day. So, so Sleazy was like, gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. St. Luke chapter 21, verse 30. See, this, this is what you need to be watching. This is what you need to be keeping up with, the current events. This is what you need to be keeping up with. But let's go back here. St. Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always. So we're constantly watching. Keeping up with well, occupied and privacy. You go into the definition for the word occupied, it means to be busy, to stay busy, to stay active. Constantly watching. You see, no, no matter how busy your day is, check the news out. Check, check the current events. Check the um the latest technology. This, this man got um deleting drones. You see, this man this man got oh man, a whole lot coming down the pipeline. He got uh, he got dogs with machine blickies on them. He shit man. All, all he um with mosquitoes, bees, robot bees. But then you got you got everybody walking around talking about everything's all love, love, no worry, no worries, no concerns. Just be happy. What are you not seeing? What the hell is going on, Israel? We're not living in Kansas anymore. You see, it's, the scripture says it's a time of love, it's a time of peace, it's a time of hate, and it's a time of war. It's a time of plagues. St. Luke 21, 36, watch ye therefore and pray always. So we're constantly watching and we're most definitely constantly praying, begging the Lord for mercy. You see, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Not it might come to pass. I, I think about making it come to pass. That shall come to pass. And this red letter. This Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call Jesus, man. So all that playing around. I can call the Lord anything. I can believe in who I want to believe in. And all this, that, and the third. I, I can take my time. The Lord said, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. It look, look, the Lord gave us enough time to shuck and jive. You see, to, to play around. And now it says, now be in return. Seek him 10 times more. Seek the Lord, Israel. You see? Yeah, we know you young, dumb, and full of calm. You better seek the Lord in the, in the, in the days of thy youth while the evil days come down before the Lord really turn up that pressure. You see, in that kitchen. It's getting hot, Israel. It's getting hot. Lord willing, we'll be kind of worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Lord, Lord willing, we'll endure. Let's see. And remember, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. This is many scriptures that I could bring out, man. But I'm going to bring this last one. Then I'm going to wrap up. You, you, you see, as a matter of fact, I got I to gotta bring out Jeremiah. I got to bring out Jeremiah 28. I got to. I must be allowed to bring out Jeremiah 28. I must be allowed, Israel. You see? Let's get this. Jeremiah 28 and 8. Look, 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 the job of a prophet, the job of a prophet, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both again. And all you Israelites out there watching all these damn other Israelite groups, you're watching us, you're watching IUIC, you're watching ISUPK, you're watching Zakari, you're watching GOC, GOC, GOCC. Look, look, don't come to us asking us no question when you in your, when your ass get bugged the hell out. You see? And you like, blah, 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 all bug the hell out. Don't come, don't come to us on our comment board asking us questions. Well, well, this camp said this, and this camp said that, and this camp said this. Well, who do I believe? Jeremiah 28 and 8, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. We told you what was going to happen before it even happened, according to the Bible, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. And of evil, meaning bad times, and of pestilence. And then going right back to Second Ezra, the, uh, the fourteenth chapter, it says, "Greater evils are coming, Israel. Greater evils are coming. Greater bad times." We just read in an article. He said he's gonna lock it down. He said he's gonna lock it down. He gonna look, look, you gonna have to um, six feet, six feet. You know what I'm talking about? Six feet, man. And he's gonna make you put them there pampers over your face again. And you, and you know he already got you know he got some more Capri Sun for you. He got a new batch of Capri Sun for you. You see?
He has a new batch of Capri Sun for you, Israel. Look, look, but you ain't got to believe us, though, right? Keep going to church. Keep going to church. Keep, you know what I'm saying, um, getting the Holy Ghost on you, which ain't nothing but demons, you know what I'm saying? Keep, keep jumping around, you know what I'm saying, like the house of pain. Keep um, rolling around on the damn ground, and, and all these prophecies are still going to come to pass. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, that's the only thing that's going to keep us stable, Israel. It's going down. This man know that he only got a short time to rule. So he's going to come in with great wrath. Stop playing around. Get it while they're getting this good. Shut up, Wong.